guys. Today should be a quick one. Please excuse my voice. I'm getting over the flu and gastro and all sorts of nastiness. <coughs> I was going to wait and add this just to the OEM parts that I'm waiting for, but they still have not arrived. So I thought, well, yeah, why not? Let's just do it. Someone might be interested. So this is the stubby antenna aerial. It's the black carbon version. I'll open it in a sec so you can get a better view main reason why I want this is I'm going to need a car cover for the car and the aerial that's on it now is just long enough that it's going to bend and it's going to look weird and I do like the radio controlled car look so I want to keep the idea but shorten the antenna please be aware too that I've read online that your reception may get worse so if that's a thing for you you may need to look into it I don't listen to radio at all just iPods even though I haven't even listened to music in my car yet so that's something to think of too. Now this was supposed to be specific to my car but as you can see here we've got all sorts of different I'm guessing they're universal threads double headed whatever you want to call it and a couple of washers. So let's just go ahead and open it. It feels pretty hefty. This is supposed to be a very quick install but as we all know very quick installs usually don't turn out like that. I got this from eBay it was 1995 free delivery in Australia. So you can't really lose, can you? It's also called a uh, bee sting antenna because well, it looks like a little sting, obviously. But yeah, I do like it. I do like, oops. I do like the carbon fiber because I do have a couple of small parts around the car, so it will touch upon that. And I'm told this is real carbon fiber. So if we're having a look here. Okay. So yeah, sorry, that's the instructions. So yeah, depending on which one it is, which I'm not quite sure yet. Oh, it says it right here. Choose one of the rings supplied if gap between antenna and base observed. So if there's a gap there, stick one of these on. Alrighty. So here's the antenna itself. It feels quite solid, I like it aluminium there by the seam and there's the carbon fiber it looks nice I dig it let's just have a look here so I guess we're gonna have to take all this out there and just figure out which one we need it would have been nice if it was just exactly what I needed for the 86 but oh well, beggars can't be choosers go there or this one. Well, I don't know which one of these either so I guess we'll just have to go figure it out. I'm not sure what this is. It's a solid piece of aluminium. Put that in there. Hmm. Alright let's go out to the car. See outside by the car as you can see the, uh, the aerial there. I'm just guessing we just twist it off. So just, okay. Yeah, it's less than half. Look at that. Alright, let's see how we go. Small threaded screw. So I guess we just match that and put this one on it. There we go. Is this still recording? Yeah. So we'll just stick the thread in this one, it should be good. This one seems to be the correct thread.
that's as far as that goes in, which is good as a block. I'll just screw it in, I guess. the washers as spaces it'd look a bit weird and it wouldn't have enough thread to continue it and I don't think it needs it to be honest just leave it like that all right so that was pretty easy <coughs> okay. it's looking cute little stubble radio control car style all right guys and that's it I'll put a link below in the description there too of the eBay. I think I already mentioned it was 1995 free delivery here in Australia, so I'm sure you could pick up similar, something similar. Okay, cheers people. I'll uh, get back to you when the other parts arrive and we'll put some more stuff together. Thank you.